They say all work and no play makes for a dull day. Today I'm here at Kiraview Public School for the Active Everyday Project, encouraging kids to get active for an hour a day. Kiraview Public School was turned into a beach safari as students participated in a morning full of activities as part of the Active Play Everyday Project. Dr Lynn Phillipson says that many people believe that being active means being sporty. Less than 20% of parents actually know that kids should be active for at least 60 minutes every day. That's what the National Survey told us. We also did some research with parents and children who sort of positioned physical activity as just being for sporty kids. The day was a hit amongst students, parents and teachers. Kiriview Public School teacher Bernadette Stevens says the day allowed parents to see how easy it is to keep kids active. It shows the parents that it's not something you know huge that they have to do. If they just sent them out the back with a hula hoop or went to the park, it, that's easily uh, to achieve 60 minutes a day. It's not a huge you know need to be in every single sport. It's not expensive, free, easy, good family fun. The project includes visits to three public schools over the next three weeks incorporating a different theme each week. Dr Phillipson says there are a lot of benefits to being active for at least an hour a day, and not all of them are health benefits. Well, interestingly, people know about the health benefits, but there is actually a lot of um, emotional and social benefits as well. So kids get more confident as they play. They learn to, 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 to do teamwork and they can get leadership skills. The other thing is that the, the most recent evidence really enforces the cognitive benefits. So kids that are more active are actually also often doing better at school. And it seems the message might be getting through. So I can stay healthy.